Well, after I made my video about Garrett Watts and his hoarder lifestyle with Shane Dawson and all of their friends, I talked about running away from your problems and why it doesn't work. And a ton of you, a ton of you asked me to do another video on it. So that's what we're doing right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how you can improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a little housekeeping real quick, because I forgot to do this in my last two videos. I need to apologize, kind of, like I, said that Tristan and I were gonna make a video on Sunday, but we ended up not doing it. We will do it though. We're gonna try to do it this next weekend. Um, one of the reasons was like, we just kind of overwhelmed ourselves and we both had schoolwork and we did like a five hour live stream for Zach. And you guys, like we have the best, the best audience on earth. Like we raised over $200 for Zach and his family through the GoFundMe and the PayPal and all that kind of stuff. They still need a little help, so if you wanna donate down below, there's gonna be some links. Um, anyways, like, it was so great. Like, I got to hang out with all of you like for like five hours and we got to play video games and watch stuff and talk and it was amazing. I love all of you so much. I love talking to all of you. But anyways, let's get back to this whole situation of geographicals and running away from your problems. So, in Garrett's video that he released about finally cleaning his house, there's a part where he talks about like, everything got so bad, he just got to a point where he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a new place. I'm gonna get a brand new place and start over. And like, this is something that so many of us struggle with. So many of us just think that this like clean slate is going to solve all of our problems. And that is not the case. This is something that I learned over and over and over and over and over again. And then I thought, no, if I move to another place, I can like kind of start over and have like a new life and be more organized and stuff. But I took all the stuff from the old place and just put it in here, which is why it was like this for so many months. So it's like, this needed to happen, you know what I mean? And like, that's why I like sharing my experience with all of you because I'm able to kind of look at it in a broader sense and be like, oh wow, this is happening in a bunch of different aspects of my life. So for me personally, it started out with my substance addiction, right? To drugs and alcohol. Like for a long time, I thought Las Vegas was the problem. Las Vegas was the problem. Like there was just, you know, too many of my, you know, dealers and connections and it's Las Vegas, it's Sin City, you know? Um, there was a lot of tragedy that happened here. Like one of my best friends passed away and my, myself, my kid's mom and uh, my son, we moved to California and I'm like, okay, cool. Fresh start, we're gonna be good. And within weeks, within weeks, I was finding new dealers out in California, right? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, what the heck? Like, why can't, like, I, I thought Las Vegas was the problem. Las Vegas wasn't the problem. I'm the problem, you know? And you know, it's funny too. I remember, you know, after about a year and a half of being clean, I moved back to Las Vegas. And all my friends are like, no, you can't move back to Las Vegas. There's drugs and alcohol in Las Vegas. First off, I was in Fresno, California. There's a ton of drugs in Fresno, California. Second off, what I realized is, like, you could put me on a deserted island and I will figure out a way to get high. Like, it doesn't matter where I go. But what I realized is that I'm the problem, so I have to work on me. I, I always tried to move from place to place. I would switch apartments, switch friends, all sorts of things to run away from my problems. But no matter where I went, no matter what I did, the problems would come with me. So for example, with Garrett, like it's so amazing that, you know, Shane and Ryland and Morgan, you know, they came over and helped him because if Garrett would have gone to that next place, the exact same thing would have happened. The exact same thing would have happened. And this is probably happening to you. And this is why I like to give you some context with uh, you know the content that you're already watching because you might be doing this in your life and we we all, all of us, even me, right? Like I am no like enlightened individual. Like all of us struggle with this thing called self-awareness. We don't understand what the problem is. We don't understand what the issue is. Like so many of us think, well, if this just changed, then things would be better, right? Like if I just had a new house, things would be better. If I just had a new 
job, things would be better. If I just had a new relationship, things would be better. If I had more money, things would be better. Or if I had a kid, things would be better. Like we always think that there's this thing that is going to fix us. But what we need to realize is that thing, we have to fix it from the inside out. Then the other things can help us, you know, just along. And those other things are just icing on the cake. And here's what I mean by that. So a lot of us out there hate our jobs. Like I hated every single job I had, hated it with a passion, right? But I remember like as I got older and I was working on my mental health, I remember sitting back and just kind of analyzing my life and saying like, okay, what are the odds that every place I work is just terrible, right? Like a lot of us think that like, what are the chances that every single job we have is terrible. Every, not only is every job terrible, but every job we have, the coworkers are terrible. Every job that we have, the managers are terrible. Every job that we have, the owners are terrible. At what point do we sit back and say, huh, maybe I'm the problem. So again, like, don't think that just switching jobs is going to solve all your problems. Like that's why I try to encourage you guys to embrace these things, turn towards them and work on them. If not, you're just going to run into the same problems. Like I'm letting you know right now, no matter what job you go to, there's always gonna be another Becky in accounting, right? Who's just talking crap behind your back. Like, it doesn't matter. There's always gonna be another Bob, the, the shift manager or whatever. There's always going to be another one. That's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons I never get off social media. Like, I I can do a whole nother video about this. Please stop giving me ideas because I'm making too many videos. <laughs> but anyways, I can do a whole nother video about how just getting off social media for like most of the time is just useless. Because like, if you can't, if you can't handle you know, people disagreeing with you on the internet, how are you gonna handle like the people in your life, like your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your coworkers? You know what I mean? So like the internet is a great practice ground to see if you could just deal with people who have different views and opinions as you. Like that will help build up resilience. But I'm getting off track now. So bringing it back, like quit running away from your problems. Don't think that this new job is going to fix you, right? Like how many of you are just sitting at a job and you're just like, oh man, I can just get this other job. And sometimes it's the money. Sometimes it's the money. Like so many of us, we are, I was, it's funny because I was just talking about this, um, this old uh, story from Buddhism called The Hungry Ghost. I actually have a video called The Hungry Ghost that you should go check out. But the thing is, is that we're never satisfied. So say for example, like some of us were like, you know what, if I just made more money, then I would be happy. So you start to bust your butt at work, you start working, 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 right? And then all of a sudden you get a raise and you're like, yay, I got my raise. How long does it take for you to be like, you know what? they're still not paying me enough, right? Like once we realize that we have this, this issue that's part of the human condition where nothing is ever enough, we start to realize, oh wow, this is something I need to work on. It's not how much money I'm making, it's not how, how the job is, you know, it's me. It's this, this need for more. Right? So the other the other instance of this and running away from your problems is relationships. Some of you watching this are bouncing from relationship to relationship like madness, right? Because you keep thinking he is the problem or she is the problem. Like I have to tell you, like this is why I stayed single for a year and a half, right? Because like I realized that I was part of the problem. Like I wasn't just dating awful women because it's easy for us to get in that self-pity and be like, oh my God, woe is me. Like, why can't I just find a good woman? Or why can't I just find a good man? Like, again, just like the job situation. At what point do we take a step back and say, huh, maybe I'm bad at relationships. Like this again, like I hate to bring it up again, but that's why you gotta write down an inventory. That's why you gotta look at your faults, your flaws, your character defects. You gotta look at this stuff and say, oh wow, Maybe I wasn't the best boyfriend. Wow, maybe I wasn't the best girlfriend. Maybe I wasn't the best employee. Like going back to the job situation, is it possible that your boss was giving you a hard time because you always showed up late? Is it, is it, is it, is, is it possible that your boss was um, uh, mean to you because you know, uh, you, you, I don't know, stole, I don't know, just something weird, right? Like this is why like I, I try to teach you all to like look inwards and see like what your part was. What did you do, right? Because Again, I will say this until the day I die. It is a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to think that you're gonna fix the rest of the world. So how can we work on ourselves? How can we work on ourselves to deal with the rest of the world? So this is why we need to quit running away from our problems and start embracing them. Because every 
single time you do that, you get a little bit stronger. You get a little bit better. Like I've been talking about exposure therapy and things like that. Like, like think about the freedom you'll have from not running away from your problems anymore and just facing them head on and dealing with them like a freaking boss. Like it's, it's amazing, it's empowering and that's what I want all of you to do. Like I get it, it's scary, but one of the ways I kind of psych myself up is to think like what's the worst that's gonna happen? What's the worst that gonna, that's gonna happen if I don't run away from this and I just deal with it? I'm gonna have feelings, ah, right? Like they're just feelings, okay? Nobody in the history of mankind has died specifically from feelings. You're going to be okay. And if you're not okay, guess what? You got an entire community here at the Rewired Soul YouTube channel to support you and help you get through it, all right? So don't run away from stuff, turn towards it, okay? Man. This video felt good. So let's hear from all of you. Down in the comments below, have you tried this before? Have you tried to run away from your problems? Can you relate to this video? Have you tried to run away and no matter where you go, there you are? Let me know down in the comments below or let me know what you have done, what has helped you. Let's talk about the solution. What has helped you turn towards your problems and work on them and build up resiliency, okay? Let's have a conversation and support each other down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. This is video number three today. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help me spread a message of hope, make sure that you click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Quit running away from your problems and I'll see you next time.